Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to NBC News Daily. I'm Jane Maloney with your midday Arklamis update. The assassination attempt against former President Donald Trump has continued to spark reactions nationwide, including one from U.S. Senator Bill Cassidy. Here's what he had to say following the shooting. Attempting to change the course of the nation by assassinating or trying to assassinate a president or a presidential candidate is the worst form of violence there is. It doesn't just affect the person who is shot, it affects us all. Uh, we need to find, make sure that the person who attempted to assassinate former President Trump was acting alone. Uh, need to find out why he was able to apparently climb up on top of a building with a rifle and no one went after him. Um, but most importantly, we have to condemn this act of violence, pray for President Trump's healing, be pleased that, and happy and thankful that he appears to be okay, and pray for all those wounded and the family of the other person who was dead. Well, a news update, Daniel Callahan is accused of kidnapping two young girls and killing one of them and the girl's mother. Investigators say Callahan confessed to killing four-year-old Erin Brunette and planning to keep her older sister as a, quote, sex slave. Legal analyst Cliff Cardon says Callahan can't take back his confession, but his attorney will likely look for loopholes. So what he's going to do is get information about the confession to determine whether or not it followed the, the law. And if it didn't follow the law, then he might be able to suppress the confession itself. The preliminary hearing for this case has been rescheduled to August 12th. And out of Arkansas, the Hamburg Police Department is requesting assistance in locating a missing juvenile. 14-year-old Scarlett Gordon is a white female who was last seen wearing gray sweatpants, a white t-shirt, and possibly a blue and white tie-dye undershirt. She ran away from her home on North Main Street in Hamburg, Arkansas. Gordon was last seen on foot in the 1400 block of North Main Street around 2.30 a.m. on Saturday. If anyone has information on her whereabouts, please contact the Ashley County Sheriff's Department dispatch at the number on your screen. And in a consumer alert, AT&T Friday said hackers are responsible for a massive data breach accessing the text and phone call information of cell phone customers. In a filing with the Securities and Exchange Commission, the company said it learned from an internal investigation that hackers accessed and copied its call logs that were saved on a cloud platform operated by a third party. Included in that data are the call and text records between May 1st and October 31st of 2022, as well as January 2nd of the following year. While the personal data of customers was not accessed and the content of calls and texts was not compromised, experts say the information could be used to detect patterns and connections between people. The company said it has taken additional security measures and will reach out to customers affected by the breach. And now, exclusive Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. Hot and humid conditions will still prevail for this afternoon and really for the next few days for the whole entire Arkansas will be under a heat advisory at least until 8 o'clock this evening. Heat index values will climb above 105. So keep practicing heat safety. And of course, with winds staying mostly southerly, there's a chance for a couple sea breezes to make it as far north as the I-20 corridor. So there's going to be a chance for a patchy shower to along the I-20 corridor and for areas further south. Kind of similar to how yesterday was. Some places just saw just a random pop-up thunderstorm and it's usually going to be during the afternoon hours from 2 o'clock on Onwards towards 5 and 6. Now tonight will be mostly clear falling to mid 70s. A few clouds roll in a little bit saying probably cloudy through at least tomorrow and then they'll kind of clear out by tomorrow afternoon. We won't see much of an influence from the sea breeze as winds start calming down a little bit more so um, but we're still expecting temperatures to climb to upper 90s so as I mentioned keep practicing heat safety because temperatures will still push those upper 90s until the latter part of the week. Betting low about 75 degrees tonight in Monroe staying partly cloudy through tomorrow. We will see more sunshine just a few clouds but very hot and humid nonetheless. And then by late Wednesday night and going into Thursday and Friday, our weather pattern begins to change a little bit. We'll have a frontal system that will approach, which will bring about more rain chances. And not really looking like we'll see much in the way of severe weather Thursday through Friday at this point. But we will be a tad cooler, though, falling down to the lower 90s and might even see some upper 80s across parts of South Arkansas. So a win-win situation lasting through the weekend and early parts of next week. Well, that's it for your midday update. NBC News Daily continues. Get the six minute advantage with the live Storm Tracker Doppler radar on NBC 10. Sponsored by Homeland Bank. Where's your money?